What's up, y'all? It's Franchise Bay back, breaking the curse. The Chicago Cubs fantasy season taking on the Cincinnati Reds this time. You Afternoon see their lineups, our lineup. We are Today, ready to go. You see, it records only four League. and eight in Between the spring. The so we're definitely trying to turn Cincinnati things around against these Reds, who have not played as many games. They're only four and five at this point. There's my lineup again. You see Rizzo struggling. So is Jamie Carroll. But everybody else is starting to pick it up a bit. Jay Bruce, of course, is playing out of his mind. On the mound for them is Chris Tillman. Here we go. Actually, Gallardo had only given up his first hit earlier this inning. But here in the third inning, later on, Michael Bourne with the single up the middle pushed him up one to nothing. The pitch is up. Chris Tillman. Easy fly ball out the right field. Each. Ichi, what Ichi, 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 Rojas, what? He got, lo got the ball lost in the sun, uh, got a cataract, I don't know what happened. He just flat missed the ball, then he threw wildly to the cutoff man. Yeah, feel bad about yourself, man. You should feel bad about yourself. Look at this. This And, and part of this is probably kind of my fault, but look. The ball hit him in the wrist, man. Now, while we're doing that... This is what they doing to us. Anthony Rizzo rips it the other way. Look at Brett Gardner. Out here laying out, sliding his torso across the grass and taking away at least a single. Probably, if he doesn't make this diving catch, it's probably going to roll to the wall. But it's Anthony Rizzo running to it. Then they're going to be a double, but wow. That was a good catch. Good catch. Here we're on the bottom of the fifth inning. We're down two to nothing at this point. The ground ball to Rizzo. Now, what is Gallardo doing? We ran into each other some. He don't get over the first base. Even if we didn't run into each other, he was late. Bottom of the fifth inning still. Ground ball. Double play ball. Jamie Carroll throws the ball. He said, where's hell? Where's hell? I'm going to throw this ball straight to it. Find hell. Show me. Point me. Thank you. There it is. I'm going to throw it. But Jay Bruce. Has been fantastic all season. We down three to nothing at this point. The run on second base. He rips a double down the right field line. And look at this though. If there's something I gotta complain about, it's still the runners. Their speed in regards to the size of the field is a little weird. We had a chance to get more in this inning with a runner still on base, and Chris Johnson strikes out. So the score stays at three to one. Bottom of the seventh inning. Kernerko rips this ball down the left field line. That's going to score a run. Should have only scored that one, but I don't know what was going on there. Another run scores. That makes the score 5-2. to two. Top of the ninth inning. Last opportunity, Yasmani Grandal. Didn't grind on nothing. Pop fly out uh, in the foul territory. Caught by Kernerko, and that will end the game. Dusty Baker's happy. Toothpick fell out of his mouth and everything. That's Michael Bourne to play the game. Now, I know, you know, black people got thicker lips, but wow. I don't know what they did with his lips. He looks like he needs to go to the doctor. 5-2, to two, we lose this game. Going into the second game of this episode against the San Diego Padres, you see Burley's on the mound. I just let y'all know. Mark Burley is probably my least favorite player in the major leagues. Can't stand him. But anyway, four to nine. Four and nine, that's our record. Three and six is the Padres record. Let's get into this as we need to get back on the uh, back on the winning track. At this point, we've lost three games in a row if you dated back to the last episode. So we gotta get a win here. Needed very bad. Here is their lineup. You see. Got a nice little mix there at the 3, 4, and 5 with uh, Josh Hamilton, Bryce Harper, and Matt Wieters. We'll see what John Lester can do. And from the, from the very beginning, we ought to change his name to the Usher because he was showing people to their seats. You have a seat. Josh Hamilton struck out. Matt Wieters, you go and join him right next to him. Get a seat, a, a cushion, anything. Sit down. Chris Johnson up with a runner on first base, bottom of the second inning. Look at this here. Ripped it in the center field. Oh my God. Someone please call 911. Tell them I just got robbed by Roger 
Bernardino, did you? Are you serious? Did he just Go ahead and stop take right flight there. and lay out? I can't even hate on that. Out. That was pretty nice. I had to show that because it was sickening. What a catch. But then on the very next pitch. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is sent high and deep out to right center field. This ball has a chance and it is gone. A home run. A two-run shot off the bat of Anthony Rizzo as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. Ain't nobody catching that. Anthony Rizzo took that way out. Way out. Look at that there, swing. Yeah, you know that from the moment. That thing, like Lit that up. That's dog, out of here. And he drives it over the off, wall. You know, I love it when it hit off the wall. And that's beautiful. Rizzo up again. Cubs up two to nothing at this point in the bottom of the fourth inning. That one ain't going to get out of here, but it is going to get the run home. It's caught deep in right field, but the runner is still going to score on a sacrifice fly. Makes it three to nothing Cubs. That's what you like. That's what you like. Jay Bruce is coming up, and uh, you know what? Jay Bruce is a fool. Now a big swing by Bruce as he lifts this one high in the air to deep right field. Backing up on it is Hamilton. He'll quickly run out of room as this one is gone. A home run. Do you have any idea how hot Jay Bruce is in the spring? I mean, he is ridiculous right now. I mean, he's like he's good for a dinger a game at least. In the ninth inning, Javi Guerra on for the save. He didn't even want to throw it to first base. Y'all have too many problems. He's going to take it myself. Move out of my way. Runs over, completes the combined the shutout. We didn't let Lester go the whole way, even though we. I let. I made my pitches pitch long in spring training because I was killing the bullpen and I was worried it was going to carry over to the season. So we let pitches go longer. We shut them out four to nothing. Only gave up three hits. That's what you like. Next game against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Edison Volquez on the mound against. Jonathan Sanchez the, the Diamondbacks are 8-6 and Diamond six in the spring so they've been having a much better run of it than we have we're trying to get to three games under 500 first pitch of the game Ichiro rips this one down the line and yeah liking this we off to a good start everything's cool Love it when Ichiro gets on, and the reason why is because of the speed, right? I thought that was a good jump, but apparently it was not because he is gunned down. He's actually been caught stealing four times and only been successful three times so far this spring. So we got to get that in order. Mike Trout is up. He finds a gap down with Rose to the wall. He's going to slide in to second base with a double. Coming up next is Jay Bruce, of course, and I'm telling you, Jay Bruce is, is on fire. To first. He is absolutely and on fire. Single down the right field line. That scores first. Trout. Cubs up one and to nothing early, here which is always what you like. In the bottom of the second and inning, bases jammed. Edison Volquez strikes, strikes out Rajay Davis to get out of the jam. And Anthony Rizzo is back up to the plate and uh, yeah. Now a swing, and there's a ball hit high in the air, deep to straightaway center field. And a great start to the fifth. That ball is gone. A home run. Two straight games with a home run for Anthony Solo Rizzo, and we have missed and needed his bat, and he is finally starting to step up. With him and Bruce bopping from the left side, we could have a very formidable, formidable lineup. I'm telling you doing it bottom of the fifth inning though here he is Paul Goldschmidt yes Paul Goldschmidt goes very far in very deep and that one's gone yeah we didn't appreciate that ties this game right up didn't like it didn't like it at all you take your hat off throw it down or something Edison game tied though and Anthony Rizzo's back up to the plate Top of the seventh inning, he got a little curveball, ripped that one up the middle, right? So it's the seventh inning, it is spring training, but I'm trying to win these games. I need to start a winning tradition. So you know what I'm doing? I'm pinch running for Rizzo, right? I put Sean Figgins in, and I'm like, you know what? You know, hey, we need to start playing some small ball a little bit more. Rip Figgins gets the good jump. He does reach second base safely on the steal. And now is nobody out with a man on second base. 
and we set things up nicely. You got Jamie Carroll up, and he ain't hitting his way out of a paper bag right now. So what we have him do, put the bunt down, and look how beautiful it is. You couldn't have rolled it down there better. Couldn't have rolled it. That was some Brent Butler bunt. That was beautiful. Gets the runner over the third and reaches first base safely himself. Brett Jackson comes up and he has been a pinch hitter extraordinaire and he keeps on going. Single in the right field, scores the run and the Cubs are up one at this point. Beautiful play, beautiful, 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 beautiful execution. Juan Castro is pinch hitting against Heath Bell and my fat setup man could not do his job. We got him out there as the fat setup man, and he threw a fat pitch, and the fat pitch got hit out to right field, and uh, just all of that execution that we did the previous half inning was uh, erased because of the fat man with the beard. All right, but our half of the inning comes up, it is the top of the ninth, Wellington Castillo up with runners on second and third, one out. All you needed was a fly ball, a but he's going deep to right well to left field. field. One hops the and wall. That's going to score a run. He gets in the second with the RBI and double, the bringing in Joe Nathan to close it out. And oh my God, made a mistake and ran inside and hit Rajay Davis. And he jumps up like he's mad. Sit down, fool. And nobody hit you on purpose. I'm trying to win the game. Jumping up like somebody's like you're going to do something. But right then, the next play, the next batter, you get Eric Young Jr. to line out to Jamie Carroll to end the game. Two-game winning streak to end this one. Anthony Rizzo, two for three with the home run. He had a good, he had a good episode. He had a good episode. We go to six and nine in the spring training record, and uh, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Regular season is coming up shortly. Y'all be patient with me. Subscribe. Peace.